So I'm excited because the new iPhone just arrived and I want to do a full unboxing of the iPhone. What are you doing, babe? What are you doing? <laughs> she's got a kitchen this. knife and she's like cutting this open. That's the new iPhone. I was going to do an unboxing of it. Well, I'm opening it. She's still opening it. Why is she still opening this? Look at that knife too. Oh, that is a sharp knife. <laughs> I got it. Unboxed. Done. <laughs> nope, they, they want to see it all the way open. So I gotta mm, open it all the way. Alright, now that Laura's already unboxed the double box, you know how it always comes in a box and then a box, I'm going to show the unboxing of all the products. Plus, I got a few extras beforehand, so you can actually see the dust on this one. That's how long I've been waiting for this iPhone to come out. I pre-ordered protection for the iPhone before it came out because I didn't want it to get ruined. I also think partly you hide these things so that I don't know how much you actually buy, right? Like, it's like they come in like little Amazon shipments one at a time, so I don't know. That's the trick, guys. You onesie, twosie it, and then you can get all the things. All right, well, let's get into the unboxing. We'll start with the iPhone. Also in this video, I'm going to show if the MagSafe charger will work with the case that I got because I got that before I knew about MagSafe. So let's get into the unboxing. I like how simple the design is. I got the gold 256 gig one. The cameras are definitely raised out more. People talked about that on other videos. I'm sure you've seen a lot of other videos on this phone just because I you know, don't get it early. So this is just my own personal phone I'm ordering. But I really love the gold tone that it has, but it's closer to the white. So I actually don't mind that. And I'm actually gonna show another video. I got a dbrand skin to make this matte black because in my opinion, the colors look a lot better with the black on the gold. You of course have the cable in the box and I'm sure a lot of people are frustrated that they don't send the 20 watt power brick. Me being one of those, cause I get an iPhone every year and I still only have one because they only sold it with one. And then the paperwork, you know, um, SIM tray, ejector, and then paperwork. And that's what we got in the box there. So uh, let's get on to the process. Actually, before, I wanna show you one comparison real quick while I've got it. I wanna do a comparison of the Apple Watch Series 6 that I unboxed and the gold on the new iPhone. Let's see if I can get those to focus. Come on, autofocus. I'm using a different lens this time, so I'm going to have to focus. Okay. So look. I love that they match the gold with it. It's interesting because the blue doesn't seem like they match the blue with it, but they've matched it on here. I have a case on, so or a screen cover on, so that scratch there on the Apple Watch is just a scratch on the screen cover. But... Very, very close in the gold. I think it's pretty much exactly, which makes sense. I would imagine that they would keep that the same. So, all right. Well, on to screen cover. So this one actually has an easy install tray, so I was gonna have it in the iPhone box. This is a good little trick. If you don't have this, is you just use the iPhone box, but this one looks like it has the easy install tray. Came with your standard sticker and then microfiber cloth. 
So even though it's got the new technology on it, the ceramic coating, I don't really care. I'm always going to put a screen cover on. I don't want to risk the scratches because I swear if you rub the pocket lint on your iPhones, it'll scratch it. It's like the smallest microfiber cloth I've ever seen come with one of these. So, oh, and this is a very, the new ceramic coating, I can tell you this right now though, it grabs better. It's got like a, a texture to it so I can feel it grabbing for sure. Now you have a flat screen, so it's easier to put on screen protectors. All right, I always do this because I somehow manage to get fuzzies all over. Oh, did you hear that? That's how much the cameras make it wobble on a table. They can make the camera bump as big as they want it as long as they keep upgrading the quality in my opinion though. Might have to lift and reapply this at some point. I won't do it right now, but I'm gonna use this fancy scraper tool that I just found. It's actually a clamp for the microphone, but <laughs> it's gonna work for this, I guess. This is the case I got. Both of these are just like cheapo things on Amazon. Like I said, this was made way before the phone came out. I like clear cases. If you're gonna get a gold iPhone, the way I figure it is, why not show it off that it's gold? And so, here's the case. This was actually back when they first leaked renders and stuff. It's got fingerprints on it because I already opened it. Ooh. This case is tight on it. Holy cow. Whew. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess that's what you get when you get before the phone is out models of cases, but it actually fits perfect. I just didn't like the squeaky onto it. I'm sure you guys loved that sound. So looks like as Flossie says, it has razivity, right? So <laughs> Last thing to unbox, I got a MagSafe charger. People are back and forth on this. I'm gonna show whether it actually works with this. I actually probably just opened this total wrong way. I kind of just manhandle these boxes until they open for me. So in the box, you got your typical paperwork, MagSafe box, and then this is pretty simple. Once again though, you know, paying for a charger cord not the actual charger. So it's kind of funny when they call it a charger. It's just a cable to hook your charger into. So I do have Apple's 20 watt charging brick. Just make sure this is working. Yep, so that worked. Now let's put the case back on and see if it'll work through the case. That way you can still buy whatever case that you want to that would normally charge. And I want to show you that it will still work. So through the case, still MagSafe charging, still working. So I've still got to download three hours worth of an update apparently. And once that's finished, we'll go from there.